hi friends welcome back to the channel I'm sorry if my camera looks a bit skew let's see if I can fix this instead of saying sorry okay I think that's better I think it's more straight now um, yeah welcome back guys it's so good to be uh, back doing another video um, I had some really wow I had a lot of dreams this morning um, they all stuck out to me but as I was dreaming throughout the night it's like God specifically like was like this is the one I want you to share today in today's message so yeah welcome and to anyone that is new my name is Alita <laughs> And I share prophetic words that the Lord gives me through dreams. I also do dream interpretation teachings. Um, I do have a playlist with some of those videos. It's an ongoing series. There's still more videos to come. Lots more, in fact. And it's called Life is But a Dream. So you can go and check out my playlist for that. Um, yeah, so before we get into the word before we get into the dream and everything guys just always always take every word to the lord especially if you know you're hearing it for the first time and it resonates in your spirit you really believe it's meant for you take it to him please let him give you confirmation let him speak to you sometimes we can run with a prophetic word and it's really not for us and then we run into problems later and we're like god but why you said this and meanwhile he didn't really say that to you um i know we all want to want certain things to happen you know we want our blessings to manifest but god has his timing and his own way of doing things so just make sure that he confirms what you believe is meant for you and for some of you this may be confirmation of something God has already been speaking to you about I still encourage you to pray I still encourage you to speak to him ask him your questions let him give you specific directions and strategies for your personal situation it's so important that relationship with him so so important okay so um, like I said I had the dreams this morning I had a lot of dreams there were like I said many of them stuck out but there was one dream that kind of repeated um, so I used to have a lot of repetitive dreams when I was a child like I would have the same dream almost every night and I think I was probably about four or five I can remember those dreams because I had them all the time and when I was a teenager I would have these recurring dreams all the time and they would happen pretty much almost 100 percent identi identically <laughs> um so sometimes there might be one slight different thing or whatever but they i would know exactly what was going to happen in the dream um i don't have that anymore that like that was like in my teenage years but what i have noticed that is that god actually repeats certain elements um things that are really like um, really important for me to take note of he'll repeat them um, in in dreams so I'll have a dream like today and then two days later I have another one and they're very similar prominent elements and um, if I didn't record my dreams I, sometimes I would even miss that there's a link there so um, and sometimes he does it on the same night so <laughs> just like like um, last night I had these two dreams uh, in between other dreams and in both dreams I had a remote control and I was trying to make the TV do things I was trying to control the, the TV and um, get it to change channels or I know in the second dream I was trying to get it to, to go to a certain program and it just the remote control was working the TV was working but what I wanted you know the the function that I wanted it to do it just didn't do and in the first dream similar thing I would press a button and something else would happen that you know didn't correspond with what I pressed um, and those were pretty much the dreams I just remember just being frustrated and just wanting the TV to cooperate with what I was doing on the remote control there was a lot of frustration there was a lot of like um, realizing that I'm not going to get this to work. There's no way I can get this to work. And as I was sleeping and having these dreams, I heard the Lord clearly say, this is the word I want you to put out today. Um, you know exactly what this word means because of my current situation. I'm in a situation where I'm so frustrated. I'm 
in this like transitional space guys like you a lot of you um make comments about like where i'm staying right now and some people actually think it's like my place it's not it's an airbnb um i've had comments about oh beautiful decor um some people are like no i prefer your old room not this new place um it's a transitional place i i'm yeah <laughs> i'm frustrated <laughs> So frustrated because I don't know how to move things forward. I want to be able to do certain things and to tick certain boxes and to just get on with it already. And it's like there's nothing I can do. It's like every time I want to do something, it's the same as that remote control situation. I am trying to be in control. And God is like, you don't have control over any of this. None of it. He is going to get the glory in your situation, guys. You, you, there's no way that you can even spin it. Like once everything is said and done and God has done what he needed to do, you won't even have like <laughs> a tiny shred of, you know, I can take credit for this. God wants this to be like one of the biggest miracles in your life where even you, when you tell people your testimony, you will still be in disbelief. Like, this is what God did, guys, because there was nothing that I could do, but this is Him. And God is doing that really because, mm, thank you, Jesus, the time is so short. There's so much happening in the spiritual and it's manifesting on earth. Um, you want to call it end times, it's, it's, I guess it's okay, but... He needs people to see him. He needs people to know that he is God and he is real. He needs people to have a real chance at seeing his hand, at seeing his glory, so that people can make the right choice. Um, some people just haven't seen Christians living in a way that would inspire them to have a heart for the Lord. In fact, They've seen a lot of the opposite, where people have turned away from the church. They, you know, Christianity has a bad rep now. And God wants people to see him and to know that he's real and that he loves them and that he is, he's their savior through Jesus Christ, right? So his glory will be seen in your situation. He has the remote control over your life right now he wants you to know that there's nothing that you can do um you can't control the situation he's in control so stop trying to control it because he's going to get the glory once everything is said and done and he wants even you to worship him more i'm not saying that you don't worship him right now but what he's going to do in your life is going to be so miraculous that <sighs> it's almost going to be like you know those creatures in in revelation that spend the whole day singing holy 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 um because of what he's going to do in your life so i know a lot of you are frustrated i'm frustrated i'm like please god i need this to happen and i want that to happen you know busy with the remote control and it's like he's just like no nope, that's not going to work because this is my job um i've got the remote control says the lord um Where's my phone? This is a beautiful scripture that he gave me for this word. Where's my scripture? Hold on, guys. There we go. Isaiah 55, verse 8 to 9. It says, For my thoughts, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours and my thoughts than your thoughts. Um, I believe that you should probably go and read the rest of, of, of the, the, the chapter. But the Lord really pointed out those two scriptures to me for this. And it's, you know, I had such a sense of, excuse me, um, just relief and release as I was sleeping and having these dreams, it was like, you know, Lord, there's, I, I, I don't have control of the situation and it's okay. I don't need to have control. I think a lot of us like the idea of control. We like to be in control because 
you know, then we can control the outcome. We, we, we can manipulate and make sure that things go in such a way that we don't get hurt or, you know, that it's not as difficult as it, as, as, you know, it may be. Um, but God is saying, let go, let go because he's in control and what he's going to do is going to be one of the biggest miracles of your life. And you will be telling your testimony for so many years to come and still be just in awe of what God did. It it will just always just resonate so deeply that, you know, this was completely God's hand. I cannot take credit for a shred of this. So, yeah, friends, I just want you to be encouraged. Um, yeah, I know a lot of you are going through a lot of stuff. I personally have been to, it's been a really challenging time and yeah, I mean, I, I think of some videos that I did some months back of God showing me that this time of transition was coming, you know, dreams where I was coming out of my parents' house and having like this temporary little, um, home, um, like in the same yard as where my parents house is that's where i am right now just <laughs> visiting them um and you know just i had a couple of dreams like that and now i'm living it to see myself living it like okay lord this is the transitional space and even my parents are going through a transition i had a dream which i did share on the channel where you know we they moved to this beautiful fancy hotel and i was there with them they moved out of this house and I was there with them and I was trying to set up my space in that hotel and there was there was no space even my dad was just like stop it this is not there's no space for you here and I had to leave you know the dream ended before you know God showed me where I was going in the in the dream but the point was there was a separation and that's what's happening right now in my life I've I, I'm, I'm having to separate from my parents. I'm having to be in this transitional space, living in a different place. And they're going through their own transition. Um, and it's just like, wow, Lord, just to see how the dreams that he gives me manifest is so encouraging. It really is. And it reminds me to not panic and not try to control the situation because he showed me this was coming and that he would take care of everything. So... Yeah, I really pray that this has been encouraging to those of you who are transitioning and just wondering what is God doing and trying to control the situation. Let go. He's got the remote control that actually works and does <laughs> what he wa wants it um, to do. So, yeah, friends, I really pray this has blessed you. Thank you for all your love and support, guys. Just, yeah, yeah, thank you. I can't thank you guys enough. And, yeah, just how you guys are praying for me. I haven't read emails in about a week or maybe a little bit more it's just really been a tough time i'm going to i think this week i feel better especially after these dreams like there were many other dreams i had that kind of encouraged me so i'm feeling stronger i'm feeling like okay i can face stuff and i can also release and let god do what he needs to do so i'm feeling like yeah i can start doing things again and, and reading my emails and <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to catch up on that. But, guys, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your love, your support, everything. Remember, God is a good father. He's in control. He loves us. And we are all so deeply special to him. I'm in a race right to the start. They tried and left me.